What's going on, guys? It's JD Headstrong. Welcome back to Literally Survival, Episode 3. Uh, I have big plans for today. Big plans. Uh, really looking forward to what we're going to be doing later in the episode, uh, as long as I can fit it in time-wise. But we're going to start off today strong. When I say strong, I mean really strong. You, you ready? Ready for this? Yep, here we go. Here we go, guys. It, it's time. It's time to craft it. Here we go. Okay. You know what the next step is. Yes. And we have it. Okay. Uh, I don't know entirely where I'm going to place this. I might... This is just going to be a temporary enchantment setup, so I'm probably going to build a new structure for it at some point. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to put it, uh, I guess, over here. That That's going to go eventually, but I'll put it here for the time being. This is probably going to move. I have bookshelves. I could level this up, but right now I'm just going to quickly throw an enchantment on my, my diamond pick because I've been using it a lot. And don't really have a ton of time because I've got a lot I want to get done today. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting some stuff done today. There's plenty I want, like, just straight up. This is going to be a great episode, I can tell you now. Uh, I've gotten most of the minecart rail in place. Uh, if you remember last episode, I said I was going to do some mining in between episodes. Uh, I think I want efficiency one. And I didn't have a ton of time, so I didn't get a ton of stuff. But what I did get, I sent straight into making minecart rails. There's actually more stuff smelting right now. It's probably done thinking about it. But the minecart rail is almost done. It runs from the village onto the top of that cobblestone bridge. Uh, I'm going to be moving the two villagers over for the villager breeder. And yeah, then I'll probably just take the rail out. But I just need a few more, a uh, few more resources to actually finish the rail. I guess I could just stop the villagers part way through and rotate them around, but you know, it, it's kind of whatever. So I, I crafted about 32 more rails. Um, the real question is, is that going to be enough? I just need to run it over to there. I'm really hoping it is. I don't think so, though. I'm going to have to do like a little a layover for my villagers. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a pain in the butt to do, especially, oh no, especially on that bridge. Because finding a place for them to stand for a couple minutes while I get some rails moved around. Especially if I move both of them at once, which is what I was planning on doing. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, the plan is definitely, though, for there to be enough. If that doesn't happen, which it doesn't look as though it's... Eh. You know what? I think we're, we're going to make it. I could have done some math here, but I'm just going to throw the rails in, and I think... It's going to be really close. I actually, I can't tell. Uh, we're just going to put these in place and hope it works. That horrible feeling when you're exactly one rail short. This is unacceptable. I will find somewhere in the line to take a rail out. I think I can take one off the very beginning of the line. You know what? Let me just, I'm going to plop down a minecart and I'll make it to the, the, to the start of the rail. This is completely unacceptable. I am one short. I could not be more disappointed. I mean, heck, even if it was like 10 rails, I'd actually deem it worth a resource gathering mission. But at this at this point, it's not even worth it. It's just going to make my job slightly more annoying. Seriously annoying. But I think I'm ready to move the villager. Uh, no, I need to put this rail down first. Whoops, that almost turned bad. There we go. Okay, that that's now in place. This is great. Now all I have to do is get the villagers over here and some beds put in place. I'll probably put down some workstations too. They're not necessary, it's just if I ever want to build a, you know, a trading hall around here, anywhere remotely near, I, I don't want them desyncing from their workstations and syncing up with the ones that my other villagers have. I've had way too many issues with that in another world I was playing in. Okay, so I'm just going to steal that minecart, and we're going to move some villagers. Villager number one has been obtained. Yes, he's a nitwit, but I don't care. And villager number two, now abducted. Okay, so all I need to do now is steal a couple of beds. I guess yellow will work. I'm not a big fan of the yellow beds, but, you know, whatever. You know what? Mixed match beds it is. Let's go. Okay. And all I need to do is drop the minecart rail back in place, and we can get these guys sent off. Okay, so nitwit first, because worst case scenario, he dies and nobody's upset. And then this guy. There we go. Now I just need a... Try to be faster than the minecart rail I set up, which I know is impossible, but let's go. Oh no, okay. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be 
a hindrance to my progress. Okay, here we go. There we go. And they're on their way to the villager breeder. Yes, I can... I definitely see the lag here. Uh, it really sucks, but you know, it's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Let, let, let me... Oh, they both made it in. Okay, good. I was thinking maybe one was going to bounce off the other one. But they didn't. That's that's awesome. Okay. Now all I need to do is break the minecarts and they're in pl Oh, no. Okay, well, this guy's in place. I'll get the other guy in place here in a second. Let me break his minecart. There we go. Let me... There we go. I got that. Um... This might be an issue. Give me just a minute. Okay, so here we go. In theory, this works without a hitch, but I, I guess we'll see how it works in practice. Okay, so he's in the minecart. Step one is done. Okay, now you need to move, sir. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I just need to break the minecart and break all of this before the sun goes down. Uh, okay, that might actually be sooner than I thought it was, because otherwise we'll have mobs trying to get to him. And yeah, then we'd have to move two new villagers, and that is the last thing I want to do. Oh my goodness. You know what? I need to deactivate this for a minute. I just realized it, it, it's sabotaging me a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, this, this is going to be just a minor pain, I think. And there we go. He's in place. Finally. Okay. That had to... I had to take that down off camera, though, because you can see it got night much faster than I thought it was going to. Okay. Um, I guess the next step is just to get the beds put in. That, that should hopefully this time be easy, but at the same time, nothing's been as easy as it was supposed to be. If that zombie will chill. There we go. So I guess I'll take down a little bit more of this and then put the beds in place. That, that, that seems like a smart next move. Okay, uh, since the beds don't really need to be anywhere in particular, I'm just gonna put them up here because I want it to be just a little ways off the ground. Just in case something goes wrong and those guys somehow manage to get to them, I, I don't want anything to happen where they get killed. So I'm going to put them off the ground just a bit. Granted, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to find their way down, but this is just safer in general for, you know, it, it's just off the ground now and I don't have to worry about anything happening to them. I guess I can break these blocks as well, which, there we go. Oh, we just have floating beds. Great. Okay. So the villager breeder should now work as soon as I feed in some some carrots or potatoes. I'll probably use carrots. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not going to test that right now, because I have other things I want to get done today. So we're on to... Pro oh. I was going to say we're on to project number two, but I guess we have to tear this down first. Just realize this is a huge mess. Yeah, well, th this will be done... I'm going to take down just a couple hours of hard work, and then we'll start project number two, I guess. There we go. It's all cleaned up. Okay. Uh, so once I put the... Uh, once I put the rails and stuff away, I'm going to start project number two, which, yeah, I'll explain to you when when I start that. Project number two is actually, like, I guess multiple projects in one, but it's it's kind of cool. This is going to be very nice. I'm, I'm very happy to be starting this today. Okay, so I know I keep saying that I'm going to be starting the, the next project soon, but first I just want to quickly get myself as kitted out as possible as I can with 10 diamonds. I'm just going to start with a... Oh. I don't have any sticks. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a sword though. I definitely feel like that's going to be a nice, a nice thing to have. I'm going to enchant them as well. That's why I have the lapis in my inventory. I'm saying that because if you look at the uh, durability on my diamond pick, after mining the, get, getting the, rid of the minecart rail, I actually lost a lot of durability there. Um, I don't know what else I think I need right now. Um, I guess I'll just go with an axe, because my axe is breaking anyway. There we go. I have a pickaxe. And I don't have any way of getting silk touch, so I don't need a second pickaxe. Shouldn't need a shovel. But you know what? I'm going to squander some diamonds on the shovel as soon as I get more sticks. There we go. More sticks. Let me just... There we go. Okay. So I guess now we just go and enchant this stuff, and I'll show you guys what I get when I'm done enchanting. Okay, so they, they were all around pretty mediocre enchantments. I, I pretty much just got Sharpness 1, Efficiency 1, and Efficiency 1. It, it's pretty lame, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, so 
yeah, I'm definitely going to start on Project 2 now instead of just continuing to postpone it. So I've been calling it Project 2. What is Project 2? Okay. Project 2 is... This has been a nice little base, right? And I've only had it for the first two episodes and now into episode three. And it's still going to remain my base of operations for the next little bit, but I think it's time we start our mega base. I, I want to get a mega base set up, like a really, really large base. Mega base is still going to be relative because, yeah, by mega base, I'm. It's going to be bigger than that, definitely, but who knows how large it'll actually end up. I have a, a grand idea in my mind. But in order to start a mega base, I need to find a location. And that is. That is. Goal number two for today's today's episode is to go scouting for a location for the mega base. I'm not sure if I'm going to build in a plains biome, if I'm going to build on... Like, it needs to be relatively low, so... Because what I'm going to build is going to be huge. Really tall, definitely. But I don't know if I'm going to build it in the ocean, in a plains biome. Heck, I could build it in a spruce forest and just mine a lot. And if, since I like the color of jungle grass, I could almost build it there. But, yeah, it's time to go exploring for a new location, I guess. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Stay there. Yes! Okay. Yes, guys. Guys, I got a dog. Yes. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Do you, do you want to be my friend, too? Okay, no. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here, dog. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Time to go exploring. At this point, I've been exploring for just a bit, and I, I don't know if it's possible for anything other than... The, the standard forest biomes like that, or spruce spruce forests to generate in this world. But the good news is I found a new village and this. I love these things so much. They give you so much obsidian, which is excellent for nether travel. D okay, no, you need to sit. D don't move. I don't want you to get hurt, buddy. Okay. Eh, none of it's particularly good. I'll take everything but the flint because, you know... Why would I take any of that? And I guess I'll loot the village and then come back here and take some of this obsidian. I, I don't know. We'll we'll see how things go, I guess. Oh, uh, buddy, 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 buddy. Come on, buddy. Stand. There we go. Come loot the village, buddy. So we're going to loot this village. And I guess after destroying that, continue exploring. There's my dog. Okay, so after quickly looting the village, I got just about what's in my inventory. Not a ton, a couple emeralds, a whole bunch of potatoes, and two pumpkin pies. Pretty much. I also found some bookshelves, so I raided that, uh, the librarian's hut, and got the, the books. So I guess I'm going to go back and get the obsidian, and then head out for more exploring. I've been very scared this whole time, though, that my dog is going to run into one of the sweet berry bushes and just straight up die, which would probably be the worst thing ever. Okay, uh, I think I found where I want my base to be, but before before I show you guys that, I'm going to quickly raid another village that I just found, like, right near it. Um, yeah, again, I'll tell you guys what I get, but I won't really be able to show you because I still have the loot from the last village and whatever, but I, I, we'll, we'll see what I can do. Okay, so I'd say I, I've adequately explored that village, and pretty much it was just more of what was in the last village. And a compass, uh, which might actually be useful because I'm just a little bit lost. Um, but this is where I was thinking I'd build my base. I'm loving the look of this ocean surrounded with the spruce and some cool cliffs. Over in that direction, uh, there's actually a cliff that... It's like a mountain that almost looks like a chunk error, but it's re really, really cool. Uh, I'll try to get over there real quick. But I'm just looking around and I'm like, yeah, I could see like all of these things around here making some cool features. Like, look. You got this cool looking beach that just runs along the the edge of this big piece of water here. My base would I am the base I'm planning to make, let's put it that way. I think would look really nice floating anyway. Maybe I could give it a base or something, but like a a foundation, a base a base is base. But yeah, a foundation. But this huge this this huge body of water looks like it'd be really good for that. Over in that area probably. But there's the chunk Chunk Error Mountain, I'm going to call it, back over there. Let me just quickly kill a cow so I can get some food for my dog. But there it is. If, if There's actually just a singular floating block over here. I found this to be really cool when I first ran up. In fact, I still think it's really cool. Um, though there's not really a ton I could think to do with it. Like, look at this. Look at that. There's just a floating block. I don't even... 
I have no idea how this would even happen. But, we did find a nice location for the base. I'll probably put a nether portal here and figure out what the cords of my other nether portal were so I can, I can get back there easily, because I don't feel like traveling that whole distance in the overworld again. And I would like to not lose this place, because it's really, really cool looking. This is... Yeah, this is where I'm going to put my base. I'm, I'm going to take just a little bit of kelp back with me, just in case I do happen to lose this place. I can at least have kelp for some farms here in the near future. But, if nothing else, we found the location for the base, and that's a good thing. Yes, my doggo. Yes. Stand there and be beautiful. Okay, so quickly before I light it, um, I should probably write down my chords here so I don't, I don't have to worry about the portal not syncing up properly, and figure out where my other portal was in relationship to this one, because that's going to be a little bit of a long nether travel, and it's going to be just a bit dangerous. I'm not, I don't fancy losing all this stuff, but I guess you sometimes you just can't help it, but let's, let's hope I don't have my first death in the nether. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm ready to go into the nether now. I have the cords. I'm, I'm going to leave my dog here. If I lose this location, I will be exceedingly sad, but I've had bad experiences with taking dogs into the nether. One of my dogs just completely dematerialized, and we don't want that to happen to Buddy here. So. Yeah, I've got, I've got the cords marked down. Oh no, I'm not liking these sounds, okay. Okay, yeah, this is taking forever to load, and I'm not liking the sounds around me. Oh, let's go into sneak mode. Oh no. Okay, so this took me back to my first portal. That's very not good. Um, I don't know what happened with the portal sync. But I'm very not happy that I'm not near my... Where my dog is. I have the cords written down so I can work out where I need to go to sync up the portals. But that means I need to get out of here first. Which, yeah, this, this could, uh, this could take a minute. Okay, so the good news is, the portal did take me back home. The bad news is, now I need to figure out what the cords are to get back to the other portal. And travel there. And build the portal. This is going to suck, because I also need to get, I just realized, I just need to, need to get some more obsidian too. Yay, this is going to be really fun. Okay. I was going to end the episode once we got back, but you know, I guess I have to hook that up first. We don't lose the location we just took a while finding. I'm going to drop some stuff off and I'll, I'll get to that. Okay, so obsidian is now collected. It's about time to do some math. Okay, my math has been done and time to brave the nether. Okay, let's, let's hold our shield going in this time. Hopefully this ends up not killing me. That's the hope here? The, okay, the, let's just hope the nether's lenient, really. I I have the cords written down in chat that I need to go to, but I really don't know if I'm going to make it through this. I hate this biome so much. Ow. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay, ow. Where did it go? Oh, no. Okay, I lost track of my, my, my little shelter. Hold up the shield. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay. That was nerve-wracking. I, I can deal with you. Okay, there we go. I can deal with the small guys. Okay, I really... I dislike magma cubes a lot, so... L let me just quickly try to figure out if I can actually make it to the cords I put down, and we'll see what we can do about getting our dog back in that location for our base. Okay, so... So, in theory... When we light this, it should take us where we need to go, so, okay, it's lit, um, let's sneak going through it. Okay, let's, let's just hope this takes us back to our dog, and our, our nice, our nice location. Okay, please, please, Minecraft, please, yes, let's go. 
okay, I'm concerned about the fact that it's taking so long. This is... Oh, wait a minute. Is this it? I, yes, I think... Yes! Yes, dog! Dog! I'm back! I'm back, stand! Yes, doggo, yes. Good, good boy. Good boy, doggo, you waited for me. There you go, take some food. Good boy, doggo. I don't know how I'm gonna get you home, but... But good boy, doggo. So, we've made it back, okay. This is excellent. So, on that note, I am out of time to record today. Uh, if you liked the video, remember to leave a like, and if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Uh, comment some names that you guys come up with for my dog here. I'll be thinking on it myself, though I don't know what I'm going to come up with. Uh, yeah, with that out of the way, have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!